like to start off by thanking the Hall of Fame Committee and U.S. Water Polo as well. You know, like JT said, it's, it's really an honor to be inducted with this particular class. On some level, I have a relationship with everybody in this class. You know, I started playing water polo at eight years old with Ryan Bailey at Beach Water Polo. I mean, it's insane. We played three Olympic games together. We lived in Moscow, Russia, which was an experience in itself for two California boys living minus 30 in Moscow. Um, I played with Jeff Powers uh, for the better part of 12 years. I coached Lauren Wanger. She is the same. I coached her at Long Beach Wilson. I knew she was going to be a stud. I, I knew it from day one. I even had to control her dad sometimes uh, at the Santa Barbara tournament. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I competed in several Olympic Games with Jess and Betsy and got to meet their families. You know, the relationship I have with Carlos, I mean, he was one of our biggest fans. Even though his daughter was playing, he was there the men's day. I'm sure it had something to do with those cheap beers in China, but <laughs> you were incredible. Um, you know, just like everybody said, when I got the email from Chris in U.S. Water Polo, it was a complete shock. Never in a million years did I think uh, this would be on my radar. To really be joining what I consider the highest honor in our sport is really, really an honor. And to be honest, I was so fortunate to be supported by so many people to chase my dreams. I remember I was sitting in the back of a 64 Impala in high school, uh, and, and I said to one of my good friends, he's like, what are your goals as a water polo player? I said, I want to win a CIF championship. I want to get into a good school. I want to win an NC2A championship. I want to be a part of our senior team. And I want to win a gold medal. And damn it, we missed out on one. And that's something that always sits with me. But this sport has taken me so far. You know, and I, I wrote an email to Chris. And, and in the email, I said, you know, I was just the luckiest kid growing up in an incredible environment with great families, great coaches great teammates, great idols, great mentors. And what I can tell you is I was so lucky, and there's three of us here um, that had the chance to play sports in Long Beach. And the coaches I had uh, when I was an age group water polo player, my first coach, Marino Tool, Second, Klaus Barth. Ricardo Azevedo. This is how crazy it is. Guy Baker was my 12 and under coach at Beach Water Polo. He was the assistant at Long Beach State at the time. Also, Ken Lindgren and Monty Niskowski. I was so lucky. Um, <clears throat> what those coaches taught me at a young age has really shaped who I am today. I'll never forget Klaus Barth as he kicked me out of the water because we used to play. Boys and girls were together, and Brenda and his daughter, they were all so mean to us. So, you know, <laughs> it's true, right, Bailey? We would always get in trouble, but really, they were beating us up all the time. So I'll never forget, Klaus said to me, Adam, the team doesn't need you, you need the team. Something that stuck with me so close to my heart throughout my career now as a coach. Um, you know, also I had the opportunity growing up and being on the pool deck at Long Beach State, the idols and mentors I had, seeing Joe Vargas every day, Jody Campbell, Robert Lynn, uh, 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 Klaus Barth, Kyle Kopp, Shia Cordell, Mike Burke, the list goes on and on. It was like a dream come true for us little, yeah, I was a chubby little age group water polo player seeing these guys every night. You know, really this sport has truly given me my entire life, to be honest. Um, it gave me an opportunity to travel all over the world starting at a young age. The junior worlds, I'll never forget, were in Cuba. And I know there's a lot of uh, older players that had the chance to go to Cuba. The cool thing is, is we were able to smuggle cigars back. If you could get through the red light, green light in Mexico customs, everybody probably remembers that. And then we all made more money as kids than we do now off those cigars. So that was an incredible experience. Um, it gave me the opportunity to go to UCLA, you know. And in turn, at UCLA, I met my wife, Carrie. Um, it gave me the opportunity to live uh, and play in both Russia and Italy. And, and, and really establish relationships with people I would have never, ever met. It's given me my very best friends. This is something I'll always cherish. And on top of that, to think about you got to travel all over the world with your very best friends is something that's truly special. It afforded me the incredible and humbling opportunity to represent our country at the Olympic Games, something uh, I cannot be, I, I can't even explain what it felt like to stand up on that when we did introductions, it was like, God, Adam, just keep your knees bent so you don't pass out. I mean, it was an incredible honor. 
And then finally, it's also given me the opportunity to become a coach at UCLA. A big part of having the ability to chase these dreams, when I was thinking about this, really goes back to the platform uh, that U.S. Water Polo has created here. All the way from the age group levels and now to being a coach, not every country has that platform to work with, and for that I'm thankful. Um, last, you know, it really does, I, I know it's one of Guy's favorite lines too, it really does take a village of people to help an individual uh, achieve his or her dreams. And there's just so many people to thank, but I'd like to thank uh, a few of them. My coaches, Maureen O'Toole, Klaus Barth, Ricardo Azevedo, Larry Rogers, Jim Brum, Ted Newlin. I had the opportunity to work with Ted Newlin, Guy Baker, Adam Kikorian, Radko Rudich, Boris Popoff, the AD gold medal winning coach from USSR, Gubal Benetti, Robert Lynn, and Terry Schroeder. Uh, one of the most important thank yous, all of my teammates. You know, all I ever wanted to do is be my very best for something much bigger than myself, and that was all of you. Lastly, uh, I'd like to thank my parents, Steve and Mary, and my brother Randy. It's pretty incredible uh, when a family puts something before all of them, including my brother, uh, so I had a chance to uh, achieve my goals and dreams, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. And then my wife, Carrie, my daughter, Rome, and son, Jolt. Um, yeah, those are crazy names, but that's from water polo, to be honest. So, um, you know, it's not easy being a, a family for, uh, of a water polo player or a coach. And for you guys to hang in there, wh whether I was living in Europe uh, or always on the road, meant the world to me. So, again, I'm very humbled to have this opportunity. It's, it's quite an honor that I never thought I'd have. Thank you again to all of you. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.